Hello, welcome. This is Rama from Microsoft. I will be giving this update on behalf of the Onyx Operator SIG. Let me start with a summary of key changes over the last year since the last meetup. IR version 9 introduces 8 bit float types. There are four variants falling into two families, each plan to be supported by various hardware backends. The two formats are mostly similar, each supporting two variants with either four or five exponent bits. They all have one sign bit with the remaining three or two bits respectively used as the mantis bits. The differences relate to special values. In particular, three of these formats do not support infinity values but they all support the NAN value. Further, two of these formats do not support a negative zero and instead use that bit pattern to represent the NAN value. You can find more information about these uh, formats in the links shown in the PowerPoint. Um, as of now, no computation ops support the 8-bit float types. Instead, the plan is to rely on the QDQ uh, representation that has been used for quantization so far. So uh, the plan is to encode the computation by dequantizing the value before any computational app. The other extension in IR version 9 is support for representing default values of attributes in model local functions. Since the last meetup, there have been two new offsets, offset 18 and offset 19. These offsets introduce a small number of new ops as shown here. These include the element-wise bit manipulation ops, the mesh activation function, center crop pad, group normalization, call to M, and deformable convolution. Apart from the new ops, there have been some updates to existing ops. The pooling ops have been made uniform by adding some attributes to specific pooling ops that didn't support them. Similarly, reduction ops have been made uniform by making access as an input to all of these ops. The equal operator has been extended to support string equality. Pad and resize ops have been extended to support some new attributes, particularly motivated by pre-processing for images. The split top supports an uneven split. And generic ops like reshape have been extended to support the new float eight types. One of the balancing trade-offs we run into Onyx is preventing an explosion in the number of ops that must be supported by various backends. One way we do this is by defining ops in the Onyx standard as functions or composite ops whenever possible. These are ops whose semantics can be expressed in terms of other more primitive ops. This helps us keep us keep the number of primitive ops that must be implemented by a backend small. Over the last year, a number of existing ops have been promoted into function ops. As of now, around 37 of existing ops are defined as functions. So what next? A couple of months back, we had a set of presentations by community members with their ideas to improve Onyx. You can find these presentations at the URL shown here. As a quick summary, there's a lot of interest in quantization. There's also interest in tokenization ops, attention ops, daytime parsing, and beam search. Let me take this opportunity to remind you that your contributions to Onyx are most welcome and appreciated. That brings me to the end of the presentation. Thanks for coming. Please get involved with the community. There are several ways to do this. Uh, please contact us in the Slack channel if you have questions or comments.
feel free to create issues or PRs in the GitHub repo as well. We have monthly SIG meetings and everyone is invited to join these meetings. Thank you.